According to recent studies, 74% of all online shopping carts across the world are abandoned. This means that roughly three out of every four people who visit your site will add something to their cart and then leave without making a purchase. So how do you set up Facebook retargeting ads to recover an abandoned cart? And how can you optimize the ad itself? These are some really good questions which I'm gonna try to answer inside this video. Hey, this is Chia from Rare24, and today I have a few tips for you guys on how to recover abandoned shopping carts from your website with the help of Facebook retargeting ads. So we're gonna start simple with three basic points. The first thing you wanna do is install the Facebook Pixel on your site. This is like sticking a tracking device on anyone who visits your webpage, so you can find them later on Facebook and show them retargeting ads. Luckily, Facebook makes this pretty easy. You can do everything yourself. Just go to your Facebook Ads Manager and from the menu, click on Pixels. If this is your first pixel, you'll need to name it. Once you have the code, it's just a matter of pasting it between the H tags for your website header. You can set up events like um, Add to Cart to track shoppers who've added stuff to their carts, a specified cart value and currency, or whether a special item has been added. And then just paste the new script as an inline action or on a new page if needed, and this is what lets you retarget your website visitors on Facebook. So the second thing you want to do is set up custom audiences. Your custom audience is who you want to retarget on Facebook. In this case, that's people who have been to your website, um, put something in their shopping carts, but then left before making a purchase. So creating a custom audience isn't difficult, but first you wanna make sure that your pixel is installed. After that, head to Audience in your Ads Manager, select Custom Audiences, and create a new one. To set this up for abandoned carts, start by selecting the Add to Cart event, and make sure you exclude customers who did purchase something to avoid annoying them. Uh, you can definitely show retargeting ads to customers who purchased something in their carts um, for cross-selling or upselling, but that is for another video. Showing Facebook retargeting ads to shoppers with abandoned carts is a really good way to remind them to just finish what they started. And even if they just wanted to check the shipping cost or they're still on the fence, you know the interest is there. So a retargeting ad that offers free shipping or a small discount might be just the push that they need to turn them into your customers. Now, the third thing that you want to do is optimize the ad itself. Social Media Examiner has an example of really effective Facebook retargeting from Squirrel. So Squirrel set up a custom audience for people who had visited one of their landing pages about project management and showed them retargeting ads that talked specifically about how to manage projects. So since their buyer cycle is a lot longer, they served those ads to website visitors in the past 60 days instead of the standard 30. Squirrel started with a small custom audience, about 2,000 people, but that generated 12 leads in the first 20 days with a 70% conversion rate. According to data from Wordstream, the average click-through rate across all industries for Facebook ads is 0.90%, and the average conversion rate is 9.21%, making that 70% conversion rate from Squirrel super impressive. And the concept behind their ad, like all the best things in life, was really, really simple. Minimal text, clean graphics, and a single call to action. So you can set up your own Facebook ads in your ads manager by clicking on create to ad and then just, just follow the steps that Facebook lays out for you. Use images or video, whatever format you prefer. Just remember to add the custom audience that you created for that ad. Now, when you're designing your ads, it's important to remember that visual ads containing less text typically get more clicks, which makes the language and the words that you do use even more important. So one small but really important tip that I have for you guys when you're creating your ads is to just listen to the language that your customers use when they talk about your product. Because even the way that you refer to your product might not be the same way that your customers do, and that can make a huge difference in your communications. So for example, if you are running ads for a sandwich chain, you want to know that even though in most places a long sandwich that's filled with meats, cheese, and vegetables is called a sub, you'd be ordering a hero sandwich in New York City or a hoagie in Pennsylvania and a grinder in New England. There might be some tiny distinctions like what they're filled with or the type of bread that's used, but they're all essentially the same thing. They're just really big sandwiches, right? And knowing that they go by different names in different locations can help you set up much more effective retargeting ads that will just make a lot more sense to your audience.
So optimize your ads by listening to the language your customers use. Google your product and all the different names that people use to refer to it. See which variation brings up more results or for information that's just a little more revealing, use a social media monitoring tool like Brand24 to see how your customers refer to your product in their normal everyday online conversations, whether it's in social media, public forums, or all kinds of other public venues across the web. So these are just some really quick tips on how to set up Facebook retargeting ads to recover your abandoned carts. Um, obviously, there are a lot of other ways you can tweak your ads. I mean, you can throw chatbots into the mix and have them respond to comments, create a lookalike audience to reach new people who share similar characteristics with your custom audience, or you can add even more parameters to really narrow it down. But remember, while hyper-targeting can increase your relevance score, you also don't want to go overboard. I mean, for example, just because John, a 47-year-old insurance salesman from Wisconsin, uh, doesn't seem like someone who would be interested in purchasing any of your handmade dolls or stuffed animals, his kids might disagree with you. And that is it for today. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I will respond to it. And if you found this video helpful, feel free to like it, share it, and subscribe to this channel so you can be notified when the next video is up, which is going to be filled with even more tips on all things related to social media and digital marketing. Thanks for watching and have a good one. I'll see you later.